Washburn Centre for Children started 125 years ago. It started as an orphanage back in 1883. Obviously the agency has changed and evolved over the years, but really always focused on high-risk children in the Minneapolis area. Our mission right now is to help children with social, emotional, and behavior problems lead more successful lives. Isaiah was unable to sit in the classroom at school. He was unable to be with other people. He was unable to, um, he was just an angry little boy all the time. It was just beyond what, what any little child should be able to have to endure. I just didn't know what to do next. I had no clue where we could go or what help we could get. And we'd been turned down from actually a couple other organizations. I was trying to help this little young boy feel good about himself and all he could feel was anger inside and immediately they made appointments for us and immediately they just welcomed us in and began the help process. We're totally focused in children's mental health. As a community mental health center we serve a disproportionate number of, of low-income kids and families. I mean we see a, a wide range of kids diagnostically and we also see a wide range of families. Washburn Center for Children serves about 1,500 children a year. No day is really the same and no family is really the same. We serve kids from birth through adolescence. The two largest service areas are preschool age kids and, and elementary age kids. We are in about year three right now of a five year strategic plan. We didn't want to say we're just going to keep doing what we're doing and doing it a little better and came out with three clear strategic priorities. One, to build a center of excellence in children's mental health. A second, to increase access and serve more children and a third to better integrate new information and new knowledge about child trauma into everything we do here at Washburn. And so we thought we needed some one-time money to jumpstart our strategic plan and to fund some one-time costs related to the strategic plan. So in addition to our annual fundraising, we made a commitment to go out and raise $475,000 and we were able to do that. They confirmed all of our suspicions about what was happening with Isaiah. He had so many hurts from other people. He's actually an adopted child, and there was some neurological disorder because of some drug and alcohol abuse before he was born in uterine. And it was trying to work him through those to get him to feel safe and comfortable and to feel like life was fun and that he wanted to wake up every day and do something. He just began to unfold. We are really in the health field, and reimbursement for our services uh, is less than our costs. So. As we provide more service, we lose more money. The organization and the community have really made a commitment to sustain this organization and say we need an organization like that on behalf of our children. We have a different little boy today than we did when we started with Washburn.